Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I do my glam look. Um, I've been working for about 21 years now and it's not all the time that I get my I get to have my glam people with me when I travel. Plus I really love doing my makeup. I think it's very relaxing and I love painting so it's sort of like the same thing. So I'm going to show you my tricks and how I like to brighten my eyes, how I work on my skin and I'm so excited to have this video because I know you guys have been waiting for this. So let's begin with my skincare. So I just like to spritz it a bit all over my face to like refresh it. Sorry, I hope I didn't hit the camera. No, you're fine, you're fine. Um, and then next, I like to use this. It's um, Juan's Age Miracle. I always start with my neck. I like to activate sort of the moisturizer by putting it on my neck before anything else and just on my chin. Um, I do this early in the morning, but I like to do it again. I mean, it's added prevention, added protection, anti-aging. You're aging every second of the day, so I think it's important to use that right before my makeup, just on the neck and chin part. You could also use it on your hands. Why not? Helps. Okay, then I use this cream. I got this from my derma. Uh, it's actually like a medicated cream. I'm prone to hives. I'm allergic to almost everything. I'm sorry, Panda, I think it's you, but I'm working on it. So I just put it on areas that I feel that are about to get itchy. So right now I could feel that I'm gonna grow three dots over there. So I'm going to stop them before they even begin. And then next, I have that more or less. I like to do my eyebrows first. Uh, the reason why I like doing this is because I feel that I've already set my face. It's already more or less in Tagalog, placado na. So I use a lot of um, eyebrow stuff, but I'm going to start with this Tom Ford eyebrow. Um, I like it because it's really dark. It's color espresso. And I just like to go really, really dark on the sides. Albert Kurnayan would always tell me to make my eyebrows a bit darker here. I think it's nice to have that ombre effect also because it's more natural. Because before I used to like just do one whole eyebrow. I would sometimes still do that, but I really try to calm myself down. So you do the dark brows over here. And then later on, I'm going to shift to another eyebrow pencil that's easier for me to control for the more defined lines. I love it, by the way, it's always brilliant to get like a brow pencil with the brush. I think it's very convenient. Okay, so next, so you see that it's already there, more or less, but I'm not done. We are far from being done. K palette. Um, I'm going to mix my Tom Ford with my K palette. This I like to use just for that bushy feel. So I'm just going to draw a little line. Well, lines. I am super afraid of getting the tattoo. Also because I feel that if I get old, I feel like my brows are going to go lower. So it's harder for you to correct that if you get tattooed. Although they're really nice, but I'm just scared to do anything on my face. So I'm just going to draw the lines. And I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna brush that. Next, to seal the deal, I've also been using this Bobbi Brown Natural Brow Shaper. This is in color mahogany. I live for this because I feel like it's the exact shade that I love for my eyebrows. They're really, really dark and they make your eyebrows look very naturally bushy. So I just Make sure you don't press it too hard because sometimes it kind of colors the skin so it's not nice. With mascaras, you want to make sure you hit your brows and not your skin. Next is the foundation. So I'm not so much of the full coverage type of girl. I like to keep it still very natural and I still want to see skin because, you know, especially when you're young, you want to maximize your youth and show off your skin. So I am going to focus on just the center of my face. I think it kind of frames your face even more and makes your face look very small and and also it seems like that when the light hits it, it's just it's just beautiful that way. So I'm going to use this Tom Ford foundation. I love it because it's so light. And I only use foundation that are light. I love experimenting with foundation, especially because we're from the Philippines. So the weather is very humid and it's hot. So you don't want to also be too matte 
and heavy with your makeup. So, okay. By the way, I love this. Thank you so much, Sephora. I got this um, from Sephora and it's like a gel sponge. Well, a lot of my makeup artist friends don't really like it because they feel like the foundation doesn't really set properly on your skin. But the reason why I love it is that you feel like the sponge is just gliding through your skin. It's not tugging so much and again, you don't want to tug so much. You want to prevent those wrinkles. So I love this. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit more. So you can see that I just put the foundation on the center of my face. Yes. And then for my neck, I love to use my Pond's BB Cream. I Yes, I am a fan. But here, because it's super duper tender and gentle, I use my foundation brush. And I just put it all over my neck. Again, it's for the fine lines, prevention, sunblock. The neck is the first to go, so you want to make sure that you really take care of that. Okay, so. so this is actually foundation, but it doubles as a concealer. And I'm just gonna use it around my eyebrows just to kind of clean it up a bit. It's nice because it's very creamy and easy to blend. See ya? There's a difference, right? I know. So now that that's done, um, as you can see, I didn't put foundation anywhere here. Because even if you have your imperfections, I do have a little melasmas here, there, everywhere. I also have like a little spots here. It's still very natural. It still makes you look very real and not too made up. So we want to maintain that. So next, we are going to use the Tom Ford Sculptor. I love contour. Um, I think it's very important to use contour. And I've learned somewhere that the best thing to do, because sometimes you just put it all over your face. I'm guilty, I do that too. But I learned that you put it on your thumb and you just like work around that area. That's the perfect measurement. It's not a rule, but I just saw it somewhere. Then you're going to use a brush and you're supposed to brush it up and down or circular motion. And then that's it. That's all. We're done, just kidding. And I'm going to use this for my chin area. I'm going to put it on this brush. I'm just going to like go around. Just to create that shadow and to make your drop line refined. And then I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit. FYI, ears and nose, they don't stop growing. So your nose keeps growing. So I try to cut my nose here. So I'm going to put a little bit of this sculptor over here like that you may not see it so much but it's really there there's really a difference so we're done with the sculptor we're done with couturing my face now we're going to do the blush which is my favorite part all right so i'm going to use my cream blush first before i put the powder i'm going to use this cute cloud paint from glossier i like this color i think this one is um, puff so i like looking very natural so i love doing the drunk blush um very sun-kissed and I used to do this a lot when I was younger and I'm still doing it so as much as possible you don't want to change your makeup techniques from when you were young now I get how older people have the same makeup over and over because it kind of reminds them of that time so yeah I just stick to my drunk blush look and after the cream I'm going to use my powder I also love Tom Ford it's just the best I like to use the highlighter first just a little bit on my cheek before I do my blush I don't know why I do that I think it's just framing your face right away so you know then I'm going to get a little bit of the blush and put it it's okay to be a little bit generous because it'll fade throughout the day so don't be shy I don't want you over but Okay, so I'm done with the blush. I did the concealer a while ago. I also did the foundation first. But if you want to like make something very pronounced or a bit more coverage, I love to put concealer around my nose. For some reason, it gives me this feeling that my nose looks a bit smaller because it kind of covers 
the dark lines and the redness around your nose. So this is a trick that I've been doing for a long time. It also looks cleaner. This is a pet peeve of mine. I don't like seeing the lines or like the red veins around the nose. So I like to cover that up with maybe a thicker and more powerful foundation. And right away, it's done. So now we move on to the eyeshadow. Now this is the tricky part, but it's the most fun part. I'm going to use these colors. Um, I want that whole very dramatic look and I want to really just make my eyes pop. So we are going to start with very neutral colors. I like to use this MAC Fix Plus. I usually put them on my brushes just to make the colors stick a bit more. So I'm just going to use this very nude shade as a primer. So the trick is always about blending. I think it's important that you blend properly so it looks really clean. Blend. To maintain your lashes, I think you should use like a really nice pigmented eyeshadow that's dark and you could just like blend it out. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to use like a nice matte brown. And I'm just going to... Whoa. Love it. I'm going to draw that. I've been practicing for a really long time, so it wasn't easy in the beginning. Don't worry, you're not alone. But because I do this almost every day, it's pretty easy for me already. Practice makes perfect. You have to do this every day. If you're not, I mean, if you don't mind, if you're not doing anything, you're just at home, put your eyeliner on. If you're just gonna go to the grocery, put it thicker. I swear, if you practice every day, you're gonna get it right and it'll be so easy and you can, you know, get out of your house faster than ever with just your eyeliner. So there, so I put it more or less and I'm now gonna blend it a bit and that's how we're going to start our eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna blend it here. Okay, so we blended it a bit. And now I'm going to move on to layers. Oh my eyeshadow. Okay. okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of the next color. I'm going to put it on top of my eyeliner. And then you're going to blend again. Keep blending. Make sure you don't touch the eyeliner because you'll erase it, but just like gently, gently connect the two worlds. You can always correct that again. That's the beauty of using this eyeliner. And then we're going to put a little bit more of the eyeshadow. Blend, 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 blend is the key. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I love watching my makeup artists and they all have their set of rules. Again, this is supposed to be just a guide. You have to do whatever works for your face and whatever works for you. So I'm just gonna put all of that together. Like my makeup artist said, blend. I got that from him. But then again, at the end of the day, you have your eyes and that those are yours and you would know best how to make them pop so this is how i do mine so, okay so we're done connecting the eyeliner and the eyeshadow now i'm going to put another um color on top i think this is really nice because it has that whole like rose gold effect so i'm just gonna blend that on top before we put the highlights mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay now we're going to put the shimmer. I'm gonna use this. I like to use my finger. Just put it on like this area. Or that. Put it on this area of the eyelid. Just like the middle where the light hits. And it's gonna do magic. I just want it very soft and very dramatic. Pack. <laughs> okay, I love this. This is like my favorite um, shimmer. I don't just use this for my cheeks. I bring this with me everywhere because I love putting um, shimmer here. I think it brightens your eyes, it opens your eyes, and it just makes it more... <sighs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that here and see how it works. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the same powder uh, and put that on my nose. 
I love this champagne tone because I think it's the most flattering for all skin tones. So I bring this with me everywhere. Okay, so I am done with that. I think I'm done with my eyeshadow. It only seems complicated, but it was very easy. And now I'm going to use mascara. Yes, you can put mascara on your eyelash extension. I've discovered this amazing technology uh, when I went to Japan. They have it in all like the beauty stores in Japan. You just have to always be patient and keep searching for all these products. Or you could just simply ask the counter and they would know. So this is a specific mascara for lash extension. It doesn't damage the lashes, so I love putting this although my extensions are already length 11 and 12 okay so i love putting this for that dramatic look to just like balance the look and open my eyes more okay so that is already there i think i'm going to go back to my eyebrows because i have the more or less look you're never done with the eyebrows so you just put it to, you know, trace your face and now that you have the lining, now it's time to fill it in more. I love strong eyebrows. The only time that my mom and I fought and I totally agreed with her that she was right was when my eyebrows were murdered by a makeup artist when I was 14. He shaved my eyebrows and it was so thin. I was so afraid that it wasn't going to go back. And my mom was saying, like, you know, it's never going to grow back just to learn my lesson, although it did. So if your eyebrows are well-defined and shaped properly, your features will all kind of follow and be more pronounced. So I love doing my eyebrows really dark and you get it. <laughs> to complete that dramatic look, you really want your eyes to be really defined. So I'm going to use this. Um, this is what you call tight lining. Well, I've learned that through a friend. Um, and this is where you fill in your waterline, your upper waterline. And it kind of, to that effect, fills in all the spaces in between. And I'll show you how it really opens up your eyes. Note, make sure you use a waterproof pencil because it usually like falls to the lower part and then you have a really like bad panda eyes. So if you see the difference, and there's a big difference, so it makes a huge difference. So it's really hard though, because sometimes you feel like you're gonna like water up and, but I feel that if you master this, even without the eyeshadow, just mascara and this it makes a big difference. And as you can see, I also put a little bit on the tip of my cat eye. So I'm gonna do the other side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You compose it. Because sometimes when you do your makeup in public, it's not nice. There. Big difference. Huge. Big. I gotta go now. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the eyes. I'm going to do now my lips. So you don't really have to go to the derma to get all these injections on your face. You could actually just you know, make sure to get the best and perfect lip liner for you. And for me, it would be L'Oreal Infallible. Okay, so what I love about this lip liner, it stays for 16 hours, I swear. You have to try it. The lipstick can leave you, but the liner has to stay because it really maintains the shape. So, yes, I overline. And sometimes if I'm feeling bad, I even overline more. <laughs> Good, huh? Hmm. Na guys. And then sometimes I like to shade that a bit more. And I also like to shade this area. I do this because if you're not really using lipstick that'll stay on while you eat, what stays is this look. Wow, <laughs> good Plump, healthy, youth, collagen, still all there. 23 years old. Hardy Wang Lisa from Kevin City. <laughs> okay, so now, if you want your lipstick, I mean, if you don't want to use lipstick that will just like stay there the whole day, I use this as a base. This is from Sephora. It's number five. It's like a shimmer, matte shimmer lippy, and it's not so dry on the lips. So it gives you that shimmer, so it kind of makes your lips look more plump. I like to put it on the lip liner. So the lip liner is like more of a shadow. See? Mm. So this, you know, I mean, you could eat with it. It's not going to stay like the whole day, but 
it stays and it's a good base for whatever you plan to use. Okay, next, since I have a bit more dramatic eyes, so I'm gonna use and call Christy. This is from Pat McGrath. And I'm gonna put that on top. I think it's important to find the perfect nude for you and I think this has that whole coral pinkish look tint. So I'm gonna use that. And then to seal that, I'm gonna put Sephora again on top. Just on the tip. I also don't like that whole wet, glossy lip. So the style is, if you still want it matte and not so sticky, use something metallic. So then I'm just gonna put my hair in a bun. So a lot of makeup artists, or if you go to like salons, they use the U-pin. Now this is like more of the metal U-pin, but what I love, the kind that I like is this one. This is more like a flexible steel, and this one doesn't really move so much. I mean, it does, but when it's there, it doesn't go back. This one, you could control it. It holds your hair even more. So I don't even need a lot, and I have thick hair with my extensions. But I'm gonna just bun that and I'll show you. You just. I love this, it really holds. When I travel, I always have this with me. And then I think if I just do a little bit like that, this is gonna react. So I'm gonna put one more here. And just improve the shape of my head. And I like that whole spike. Loosen that a bit. I'm kind of spraying it on. Just a little spraying it. And a little bit here. And then I am just gonna spray a little bit more of my Sakura Bloom. Let's just set the makeup. So this is my glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am ready now to go to the grocery, to go to the ball, red carpet, or just chill here at home with my dogs. Uh, but I'm not yet done. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna dress up, so I'll be right back. So this is my look for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. I truly enjoy doing these sit down makeup tutorial videos with all of you. Now, if you want to find out the products that I use for this episode, you can click the description box down below. And if you have a look or anything else that you want to suggest, you could just comment down below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Love Marie. See you next time.